Welcome to Ireland. Tell you we farm around 270 acres, roughly. Half of that we own and half of that we rent. And that we keep around uh, roughly 300 head of cattle. 100 or 110 of those will be making cows. The remainder will be beef cattle, cold cows, the best ones are there. The making cows, of course, were almost the most important part of it because they always made most money until recently. Um, Cows will meet twice a day, first thing in the morning, last thing in the evening. They meet over there in an eight unit herringbone milking shed. Eight cows meet at the time. The milk is stored in a stainless steel refrigerated tank, collected every second day by a local co op. They carry out many tests in it. They check it for butter fat content, protein content. They do total bacteria count, a somatic cell count. They check it for antibiotics, water, sediment, brucellosis, lactose, temperature, I don't know what else. Of course, the housewife has changed her mind now. She wants low fat milk and she wants no fat milk. <laughs> Almost watching the cows and all that they're coming or going. <laughs> <laughs> all my life I've been trying to breed cows that were more and more fat in the milk, and the more fat there was in the milk, the more money we got for it. Now it's all changed. Now we're trying to produce high protein, low fat milk. This is the old house where I was born and reared, built in 1684. Oh, wow. The walls were built with a mixture of mud and straw. The roof was a thatch until about, I suppose, 60 years ago now. My father replaced the thatch too. Facing south, of course. Most of these very old houses face south. The people who would have lived here in the past would pay a rent or a tax based on the size of the windows, so they kept the windows as small as possible. <laughs> Got a little bit of light through the door that they didn't have to pay for, because traditionally in these old houses you would have had a half door. The top half would be always open. Bottom half, of course, as you'll understand, had to be kept closed. Keep the chickens and the pigs out and the kids in. <laughs> Direction was very important to the Irish in the past. They faced all their old houses south. They faced all their churches east. In other words, when you kneel in an old church in Ireland, you're always facing... 